guys, my name is Essence and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, then welcome. If it's your first time here, you haven't subscribed yet, or especially if this is not your first time here, it's like your 10th time here and you haven't subscribed, this is a no judgment zone. So I'm just gonna give you the time right now. It should take about seven seconds to go subscribe. Okay, so, but I wanna see you subscribing at some point, maybe by Friday. All right, at any time, but time is now. So guys, I'm gonna show you today how to get from this to this. What we're doing today is we are upcycling, recycling, redoing, re up this old braid out. This braid out is about four days old. And so if I wanted to revive it, I really could. But I mean, at this point, you know, like at this point, at this point, it's time to go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to save an old braid out, make it into a totally new hairstyle. All you're gonna need today is a spray bottle, a slick up brush, some moi- Some moisture, some moisturizer, and some edge control. Ooh, and a very large hair tie. And if you're really fancy, you can get an edge control brush, if you're really fancy, all right? So it's very, very minimal, very, very quick. Let's do this. First, I'm gonna take my spray bottle, and if you see me looking this way, it's just because there's a mirror in front of me. I'm gonna spray my whole, the whole hair. My hair is already pre-stretched from the braid out, but if your hair is not as big as you want, avoid spraying water on the top of your hair and just spray it along the front and the back. Go ahead and massage that in. Shout out to my girl Rebecca for getting this and another TGIM product for my birthday. Ooh, it smells good. So I've never actually used this moisturizer before, so let's go in with your moisturizer. Ooh, I, I love it already, it's so thick and it smells so good. And you're just gonna slick this across the front. Oh, I love this moisture. Oh my, look at that. I love this moisturizer. She bought me a full-size deep conditioner and then like the mini moisturizer. Oh my, I'm gonna buy the full one. This is so, wow, this is really good. This is the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. I love this stuff. This is my first time trying anything by TGIN. After your moisturizer is on, get your slick up brush. That's what, that's what I'm calling it today, but your bristle brush. And you're gently just going to you're not doing anything crazy. You're just kind of distributing the moisturizer and you're just brushing the hair in the direction you want it to go. We all know these brushes are not the best for your hair, so avoid getting it anywhere else except for just in the front. Next, you're gonna grab your edge control today. I'm using the edge control from Unique Edge Control and you're gonna wanna be generous with this. The reason why I don't use gel is because a gel like Equal Styler or Wet Line or something like that can actually cause your hair to curl up and you want it to be slick. So you don't want anything that's gonna add too much wetness to your hair. So I'm grabbing my edge control and I'm being generous with it. Now, if this is an old braid out, I'm assuming your hair does not need to be washed anytime soon. So go ahead and be generous with the edge control. Put some edge control in the back. We always neglect the back. Don't neglect the back. So next what you're gonna wanna do is get your bristle brush and slick it back. So what you're also doing is evenly distributing the edge control as well. So you're slicking it up in the direction you want it to go. And now your hair is prepped and ready for the next step. Okay, now this is the most important step. Grab a very large hair tie. This actually is not like a, like a traditional hair tie. This is actually, um, one of those like headbands that you're supposed to put over your head like this, you know? But mine is extremely stretched out, which is fine because it, it's perfect for this occasion. So what you're gonna do is wanna grab your large head hair tie. It cannot be a regular hair tie. It has to be very large, okay? Like, not this large, but maybe like, like this. So you're gonna grab it, put it around all of my hair in the back. And because this one is so large, you're gonna notice that this is gonna be hanging out. Just bear with me. So what I'm gonna do now, as I'm pulling this back, I'm also simultaneously pulling this in the back. 
you want to make sure that it's staying firm all the way through so I'm gonna put it put it here like that and you see when I, I give it slack and when I pull it I give it slack and pull it what the difference is so I'm keeping it pulled okay and I'm gonna roll it back it's still in the same still at the same tightness roll it back roll it back roll it back now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just bring this part bring this part up once it's where I want it to be I'm gonna cross it like this and I'm pushing it up with my fingers in the back and as I push it up I'm pulling it because I don't want it to get slack so anytime I pull it I'm anytime I push it I'm pulling it push it up pull it tight push it up pull it tight and this pretty much looks good to me but if you want your if you want yours a little bit smaller or a little bit higher you can adjust it now because my hair tie is so big I'm gonna take this and I'm actually just gonna make sure it's still tight and pull it over and pull it tight and then I have a little bit left I'm gonna pull it over again and what I'm doing here is just pushing my puff through it's not super tight at all because remember I already adjusted the tightness in the very beginning so this is not pulling it much tighter at all it's just about getting the hair through the loop there and fluff and adjust fluff and adjust cool so now your hair is in one but is that the end no it's not you're also going to want to grab a head tie which is something i forgot to mention at the beginning i'm sorry forgive me now if you're an overachiever like myself you're actually going to grab more edge control because some of it may have been lost in the process and you're going to put more around your edges here and if you're a real edge girl, you're gonna go. You're gonna go ahead and grab your little edge brush, and you're going to finesse your edges. I'm not like a. I'm not an edge girl, so I'm cool with everything just being slicked back. I don't need any. I don't need any gymnastics, you know. So this is what it's looking like. This is not white. This is shine. Now another little thing that I like to do personally, I grab some of my eight oil defining jelly from Up North Naturals. And I take out just, you see how these, these little guys never really get in. I just take the smallest little edge here, get a little bit of this on my finger, the eight oil defining jelly, and I just run it over and kind of twist it and watch. Okay, you're going to get a cute little curl there. You don't want to grab too much. This is, this is the key. You don't want to grab too much. You don't want you don't want sideburns, okay? You want just a little curl. So whatever didn't fit, when I turn to the side here, I can see all of the flyaways. That's what you wanna grab. The tiniest little bit of hair. And what I'm doing is just rolling that in between my fingers, and I'm getting a little curl. Now that everything's good to go, I'm grabbing my hair tie, and I'm gonna just tie this down. This is probably the most important step because this is what is going to really make it look super sleek. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it down. Tie it down for as long as you want. The longer the better. Overnight, that's good. 10 minutes, that's good. So as long as you can. Then what I do is I just kind of push it back just a little bit like that. Pop the ears out and we're good. And honestly, for some people, this is a look too. You know, they can go outside like this, but for me, I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit while I do my makeup, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, and we're back. We have eyebrows, we have gloss, we have hopefully a really slick hairstyle. It's been about 15 minutes, maybe not even, maybe 10. Ooh, -wee. Okay, so this is what the hairstyle looks like. This is a three day old braid out turn bomb updo. I hope that you are able to save your old twist out or your old braid out and make it into a bomb high puff. So it's time for the question of the day. What do you do with your old braid outs? Do you usually just comb them out? Do you rebraid them? Or do you make it into a new hairstyle? Let me know, comment down below your answer to the question of the day. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.